And so let's get busy and edit this critter. And here we go. So we're going to zoom first here and we're going to hit edit. And we are in Washington Corporation. Washington license name, number rather. And if we're not quite sure what it is, we have the ability to move that around. This will be a small miscellaneous job. We'll click on that. And that section is edited, ready to go. And you'll notice how it reads. This agreement for professional services is then entered into buy in between Stone Construction Services, a Washington corporation with the, with the Washington State license number, here and after called SCS or contractor, and the party signing below called owner, governing work to be performed in a proprietary building located at 1234 West Sus Undershirt, Camus, Washington, 986074, a small miscellaneous job. And you can stop right there and, and uh, add all the language you want. Okay, so we're going to unzoom. Section 1 is done. So proposal section is done. Let's go to the work section, and this will take, this is um, more detailed, but we can, we can go through it fairly quickly, as you will see. So, edit. First thing, specify allowance amount for the permits on this job. All right, let's, let's assume, let's just say we're going to type in um, $135, and you'll notice up here, where it says where it's highlighted in blue, you notice that there's a dollar sign there already, so you don't need to add one under specify allowance amount. So we we'll replace. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about now is we will remove how many windows. All right, there's two of them. We're going to remove two windows, and those are going to be um, wood windows. Okay, and we're going to haul those away and throw them in the in the trash. Get rid of them, home away. Okay, now we are going to we'll remove entry door. We have one entry door, and it is a wood entry door, and it is on our home, on the home that we'll be working on. And again, we're going to haul that away to the dump. Now, um. Now this one here, the next line is we'll remove approximately specify number lineal square feet of material, and this is kind of a generic term. We're going to use that to uh, we're going to tear out the uh, surrounding casing on the windows, and it will be uh, there are 5030 windows, so that means we've got 16 lineal feet times two, which is 32, plus 10 percent waste, so we're now we're at 35. Uh, so specify uh, remove approximately 35. Place that will be lineal feet of wood, uh, and this will be um, all right. I've got to find the right word here, just bear with me. Uh, wood, middle of the corner board, where barber facing. I, I, I gotta stop and think here what I want to do. Molding that's the word I want on the interior of the living room. Where's the living room? There it is. And we're going to haul away this stuff and haul it to the dump. And now we are going down here. Removal will include. Um, now, this this line, you can either write cancel and delete that line if you want, or if you want to leave it in there. Removal will include all wood materials. Um, and that would be uh, trim molding again. Okay. And the... Um, now we're going from there. We got we got that done, and now we're going down, and we're going to add a new 200 amp electrical service. So we're going to click on 200, and we are going to um, and we've got that in the 200 amp electrical panel, and now we're going to talk about the wood trim that we're going to add back into this job around the new windows. So we're going to talk about unfinished wood. The owner's going to do their own finishing, and the surround is going to be five inch. And the casing materials, see that's five inch, and that would be wood. All right, sometimes you have to look; you don't always remember. And especially if you get a long contract, you'll be jumping back and forth and moving this around a lot. But that's you know, it's still much faster than trying to remember and doing this stuff longhand. Okay, the casing on there is going to be two and a half inch, and again, that's going to be wood. And if you want to put in MDF, you can do that. Whatever you want to use. Um, all right, specify the dimension. Um, and this is the case wood casing, and here again, now we took off 35, or tore out 35 feet, so we're going to put 35 feet back in. 
uh, wood casing on the oh, oh I goofed didn't I all right so we're gonna cancel that and right so what did I do here on the not 35 windows but two windows and put an S in there and now go back to edit and the living room which is uh, right here okay now we'll furnish and install again this is the same same stuff uh, unfinished this is the uh, jamming casing on the door okay and it's five inch and it will be fur and it will be two and a half inch again it will be fur on the uh, uh, interior side of the windows and the um, living room right there okay that whole section now has been edited everything's in there that's needed okay so we're gonna unzoom this and now we're gonna do what I would consider this is this is a little bit tougher one but it'll read very well when we get done you watch you can see it as we go here And I'm going to be plugging in some numbers this will take a little bit longer but it will give you the ability to see how you put together a good payment schedule on a contract so we go to zoom and you can see this is our entire this is our contract page now you normally when you do a contract you're going to have several pages of contract language in there and they won't all be this this detailed I selected this one because it has the most details necessary um, uh, on any of the paragraphs that we have in this program so we can you can see how easy it is to build this stuff okay so now we're going to go edit all right specify date and we're going to say it's um, uh, October 1 comma and the year is 201 and I'm just gonna put an X in there it could be any year whatever it is October 1 and that should be a comma there and we're gonna delete and our, you know my keyboard doesn't work any better than yours does sometimes okay so our license number for state of Washington working in the state of Washington we put that number in there and we're gonna contract amount so let's plug it in the account now notice here also right there you'll notice that there's a dollar sign there so all we're gonna do is put in the contract amount so two comma three twenty nine this is the number that came off of, that was with the estimate that we did over in the fast track estimating program I just copied the numbers down I'm gonna use them so we're gonna replace that number you see how it puts it in there all right state sales tax at eight point four percent and those percents already in there so we replace okay and we're going to specify the amount it would be a hundred and ninety five point sixty four cents okay and we're going to replace total contract price then is two thousand five twenty four sixty four contract amount down payment should be roughly on a small job like this you get about forty percent down payment now if you live in the state of California where they specify that you can only be a thousand dollars or ten percent of the contract price whichever is less then you just have to adjust accordingly okay but for the rest of us our down payment would be roughly forty percent which will be uh, one comma o two four point sixty four to round the numbers off remember your contract price at sixty four cents we want to get rid of that as soon as we can so we replace our first progress payment then will be thirteen seventy five zero zero okay and let's replace and now there will be one more payment on this job so we're going to cancel this editing and we're going to get rid of these two progress payments that we've got here and we do that simply by highlighting them hitting the delete key and going right back to edit which is specify the inner text to replace which is the final amount for this contract which will be one hundred and twenty five dollars your final payment on any contract in construction remodeling new home whatever it is should be about two percent of the sales price of the job okay and there's a whole bunch of reasons for that that can be found in both the markup and profit book and in the profitable sales book that we you can find on our website so we put in the 125 this is a little more than two percent of the sales price of the job but it's a small amount okay all right this whole paragraph has now been edited 
Okay, and you can you can see everything here again. Now all your numbers for your job are right above the customer's signature line, and they can't complain that they didn't know or understand what the payment schedule was or the total amount for the contract. That is super important, and it's amazing to me the number of attorneys that don't understand that concept when it comes to writing contracts.